Hey guys, so today we are celebrating. We are celebrating the one year anniversary of when my crush placed me into the friend zone. And this cake is pretty amazing. It's kind of just like my crush. I mean, we had so many good times together and now I'm making cake by myself. But it's okay, I'm doing fine. So let's get started. My name's Jennifer Garner and I'm 30, flirty, and thriving. Now to create this cake, I'm using a vanilla cake that I dyed orange. But I took a vanilla cake and just added some orange food coloring. It's not actually orange flavor, it's a lie. Just like our romance. Now because we're creating a cone shaped cake, each of my cakes are a different size. And the bottom cake is actually 10 inches, I think. I think it's 10 inches. I forgot. You know what I won't forget? The way you used to look at me. Now I'm gonna add some buttercream in between each layer of vanilla cake, and it's just vanilla buttercream. Spread it around with my offset spatula and add my next layer of cake, which is eight inches. I'm gonna repeat this process, add another cake layer, which is six inches, more buttercream, and finally my last layer, which is a four inch round cake. Now I'm gonna give this cake a crumb coat of buttercream and then place it into the fridge to set. I was actually busy the next day, so I couldn't decorate this cake right away. I wanted the outside to stay soft and not get as hard as how I'm taking this. I just wanted you to love me. But it's okay, because I'm better now. So for those of you who've lived under a rock for the last couple millennia, friend zoning is a real thing. Friend zoning is when the person that you are in love with tells you that you're like a brother to them or like their best friend. So this is kind of like a literal interpretation of what happens. They put a barrier of cones around you and put you in the friend zone. So you're like cut off from the rest of the world and you can no longer see that person the way that you used to see them, which was really like hopeful and you could see your future with them together. But their future is like with someone else. But that's all right, I'm fine. It's, it's, I'm doing well. Now because the top of this is really thin, I didn't think cake would hold its shape. So I'm adding a Rice Krispie treat that I shaped into a small cone. Place that on top with some buttercream. And then I started to carve my cake with a serrated knife. Just shaving away the cake the same way I sort of like shaved away all my feelings for you until there was no more. But there's still so much more. But it's okay, I'm doing fine. And once I was happy with my shape, I added a second layer of buttercream. Just walls and walls of buttercream to keep you from getting hurt again. No one's gonna hurt you anymore. Cause you're doing fine. You're just doing fine right now. And I gave my cake an entire coat of buttercream and I placed it into the fridge to set. Now usually when I put my cake in the fridge, I like to watch Netflix shows. You guys already know. But today I was actually in a really musical mood. So instead I decided to turn off all my lights, crawl into bed and just listen to Brian McKnight's One Last Cry on repeat. I gotta put you out of my mind one very last time. Stop living a lie. But it's okay, I'm doing fine. Now after about like five days of getting my life back together, I started on my cake again. I added an even thicker wall of buttercream just to ensure that nobody else gets in. And I know a lot of you are probably like, I've never been put in the friend zone before. Oh, cause you're so beautiful and perfect. Like my crush and everybody likes you. I lost everything. You know, I hope you're happy. I really do. And this is like, the friend zone is like the best place in the entire world because I'm free of you and all the happiness we used to have. I'm doing fine. I, I'm seriously, I'm doing fine. Now let's get to decorating. So first I'm gonna roll out some orange fondant and create the base of my cone. I'm actually just using a plate because it was a perfect shape for my cone. Just cut it out with a pizza cutter the way that you cut me out of your life. And then just place it on my cake board. 
Now I'm just gonna set this aside the way that you sort of set me aside. And I'm gonna start to cover my entire cake with fondant. So first I cover the top of my cake with a very small piece of orange fondant. I'm not worried about the bottom of the cake, I'm gonna cover that with a separate piece of fondant. Now using a ruler I'm just marking my fondant so I can cut away the excess with a straight line. I'm covering the bottom part of my cake by paneling it with orange fondant. Just working my way all the way around the cake. Now there is going to be a seam on one side of this cake, but I'm going to cover that with my decorations at the end. Isn't this orange like really pretty? I know it's your favorite color. I also know that we were meant to be together. Now there is a gap between the top layer of fondant and the bottom, and I'm just going to fill that in with some strips of orange fondant that I rolled out. These are going to be covered up as well. Now I took my cake and just very carefully placed it on top of my fondant base. You want to be very gentle with this. Very fragile like my heart and you don't want to break it. Especially when I gave it. I trusted you. And in return you destroyed everything. Now I rolled out some white fondant and cut it into long strips that are about two and a half inches thick. I'm gonna wrap my first strip around the top, covering my fondant seams. I'm actually aligning my white fondant seams with my orange ones so that I can cover them all at the same time with my final decorations. I placed on the second strip around the bottom of the cake and I just repeated that process. Now you're only gonna need like two strips, like Kind of like the two of us, except now it's like you and some other guy. So it's the two of you guys. I think I'm doing okay. Now to finish this cake off, I'm using edible prints that I photoshopped on my computer. So I created like these small strips that look like cautionary tape. I brought them to my bake shop and had them printed out on edible paper. Everything on this cake is edible and when you're in the friend zone, you're going to be eating a lot. Macaroni and cheese. Saved my life. But I'm fine now. I'm doing okay. It's okay, I'm doing fine. Now I cut each of my friend zone strips out with an X-Acto knife and a ruler. And for the end of each of my strips, I just cut away jagged edges so it looks like it was torn away from the rest of the tape. Pulled away all of the extra pieces of edible paper and then applied my friend zone strips to my cake. Now for the first strip, I just had it running down the side of my cake, covering up my seam. I didn't make this strip flat, I just placed it on with a little bit of flow so it looked like actual tape. Now for the other ones, I kind of played around with it and just let the tape sort of fall wherever it wanted. Wherever. Wherever it wanted. And you know what I want? I want you. I want all of you, forever, you and me, every day. I don't even know what I did or what I didn't do and it didn't even matter. You know what you said to me? Thank you, next. I don't want to do this anymore, but I'm okay now. I'm fine. Hey, I'm doing fine because I'm better now. I'm doing fine because I'm better now. Better now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was probably the most emotional cake I've ever created. It was a roller coaster. A lot of Brian McKnight music. I hope if you've ever been put in the friend zone, this video helps you. And also, eat your feelings or don't eat your feelings. Do whatever you want because it's going to hurt like a beezy. If you want to see more amazing cakes that aren't sad, then there's a playlist for you in the description box and at the end of the video. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace! You know what I won't forget? The way you used to look at me. <laughs> but you know what I'll never forget? The day we met. <laughs> I kind of put you out of my mind one very last time. Stop living a lie. <laughs> I trusted you. <laughs> I lost everything. <laughs>